For the past year, I have been sharpening my pastel pencils so quickly and easily and with hardly any breakage. This method involves the use of a craft knife and sander machine and can be seen as quite dangerous if you're not careful. If you're more comfortable with a safer option, I recommend and suggest using a sanding block or sanding paper instead of the sander machine to sharpen the pastel. Okay, so to begin the process, I take a craft knife and carefully shave off the wood casing of each pastel pencil. Using both my thumbs, I guide the knife carefully down the wood casing, making sure to avoid the pastel nib. You will start to see the pastel emerge from the casing, so you have an idea of how far to shave down. Just keep shaving small amounts off each time till you reach the pastel. This will take time to learn how to do properly, and you may break the nib a few times after trying this. Just try and go slow and patiently. This can be dangerous and will take some practice to get right. You need to be careful not to apply too much pressure to avoid snapping the pastel. Have a bin nearby for the wood casings to fall into. To achieve the sharp point, you may want to use sandpaper or even a nail file, like so. Firmly but lightly rub the tip back and forth at a very small angle to get a nice sharp point. This can be dusty, so be conscious not to breathe any pastel dust in. Try and hold it away from your face and over a bin to help. So this is the sander that I use and the link for it is in the video description. To safely sand the pastel to a point with my sander machine, I first make sure that the outlet is attached to my hoover. I then turn my hoover on first before sanding anything down and leave it on until I'm finished. As the sander creates all the pastel dust, it's instantly taken away by the hoover and because of this I don't even have to wear a mask in fear of breathing in the pastel dust. You may want to make sure that your hoover is a good one and contains all the necessary filters so that it doesn't just blow all the pastel dust back into the room. To begin the process, I hold my hand and the pencil away from the machine as much as possible, lightly letting the pencil tip make contact with the moving sandpaper. You can even use a pencil extender like I'm doing here if you wish to keep your hand as far away from the machine as possible. I press the button down in quick concessions, not only for extra safety so that it isn't on full power all the time, but also for the loud noise that can be very disruptive. You may want to use headphones or earplugs when doing this. Turning the pencil over a few times, the whole thing literally takes seconds as you can see here. Sharpening pastel pencils this way has totally transformed my experience with pastel pencils. No longer is it frustrating and more costly than it should be. Thank you for watching, I hope this video has helped you out in some way. Please check the video description for more information and further reading. I would also just like to quickly plug my Patreon channel. There you will find many pastel art tutorials if you're looking to improve your art skills. Thank you and I'll catch you in the next one.